everyone today we are going to learn the basics of feko that is stop and chop technique this technique also serves as a stepping stone for your future feko chops before initiating your capsular exercises you must pressurize and maintain your ac with cohesive viscoelastics so i've begun my capsular exercises with a deliberate puncture of anterior capsule with the help of a cystic dome one should note that the vector force which i am applying here for the capsular excess tearing it is directed parallel to the direction in which the tearing is required this type of tear proceeds slowly and can be easily controlled so now this is the hydro resection which is done it's a minimal hydro resection because it's a hard cataract and you don't want to take any chances we have filled our bag with visco cohesive and put the visco dispersive above it to take the endothelium like a soft shell now we begin with our feco we are doing sculpting the setting is vacuum is at 80 to 100 mm of mercury and aspiration is 25 ml per minute so we have made a groove we are trying to widen the groove so that it accommodates both the tip and the sleeve of the feco probe one should make sure to stabilize the nucleus while doing sculpting so we have completed our sculpting and divided now we have stop and started chopping so this is the stop and chop technique we have divided the nucleus into two halves and now we begin chopping it's quadrant removal so the nucleus is not broken into two halves completely so we will we fill the bag again we come out we fill the bag again with this co cohesive as well as visco dispersive and then we rotate the nucleus to the other side and we start with horizontal chopping in quadrant removal the settings which we use is the power we use around 330 to 340 mm of hg and aspiration is 30 ml aspiration flow rate is 30 ml per minute so we straight away go go towards irrigation aspiration to remove the cortical matter we found the cortical cortical matter very sticky we try to remove as much as possible now intraocular lens implantation we have used acrylic monofocal lens and we come on to visco with high vacuum and high aspiration flow rate so the case looks good